That's a good boy. I appreciate that testimony. In fact, take your Bible and turn to Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. As you're turning, Brother Street's wife has uh, surgery on Tuesday, so please be in prayer about that. And I, I know that uh, you know, they much appreciate that. Titus chapter 2, and then if you'd also get Daniel chapter 9. Titus chapter 2 and Daniel chapter 9. We've been in the book of Daniel on Sundays, particularly the last several weeks. And this Sunday, um, knowing what we were dealing with, the 70 weeks of Daniel, very prophetic in its nature. And uh, this morning I felt like that we needed to do something to kind of set the stage or maybe uh, put some principle down before we get into this 70th week. So if you have your Bible marked, and I've got a lot of Scripture to turn to today, and I know somebody might say, well, why do we have to turn to all those Scripture? Because you need to know that what the man in the pulpit is preaching is saying what's in the Bible. There's, there's so many opinions today, so many. And there, there are people that have very dynamic personalities that are able to carry that opinion very strongly. But, but I'm telling you right now, we, we don't need to be driven by opinions. We need to be driven by the Bible. And uh, that's why I want you to turn. So in Daniel 9, I'm going to read just a portion and then read a portion out of Titus 2. And then we're going to be in the Bible a good bit this morning. So if you look there in Daniel chapter 9, and if you look at verse number 24, Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness.